Welcome to episode 9 of uh, Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Uh, so, last week the wheel picked Space Invaders. It actually sp- picked same game, different system for Space Invaders. But we're going to be looking at a couple of other inspired by Space Invaders games. Because I figured an hour and a half of Space Invaders is going to bore the shit out of you. But there we go. Um, big hello to Elmo in the chat room, new follower. Uh, good to see you live. And um, yeah, if there's anybody else watching, feel free to jump in the chat. And uh, let's let's crack on, shall we? Uh, these I'm I'm going to try and get them in a specific order, but I don't have any way of sorting my list. So um, we might just end up in a random place. But you're used to that here, aren't you? Uh, what we're going to do is let's start with the um, the oldest one, or the least best one. Um, that's right. We're going to start on on. There's no way of me telling because they're all called Space Invaders. How annoying. Uh, okay. <laughs> Right, it really is going to be random. We are going to be playing them in the order that they appear in OpenMU. So uh, so let's have a look. What's coming up first? Oh, isn't that good? Because that's the one I was going to pick first. So we're starting almost as always um, on the Atari 2600. Your friend and mine. I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger so you can... Uh, I was going to say, so you can see it like you're going to need to know. Um, so let me just, does that go behind there now? Yes, it does, like it's really on the telly. Okay, so let's see what happens. Because last time I uh, tried the Atari emulation, my joypad didn't work so let's make sure my controllers are set right in in uh, open mu player one it says keyboard oh well, that's not right is it it's not right let's see if that's better okay which one starts it Okay, none of them are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Oh. That would be annoying if I can't use my pad because I've got RetroArch open. Okay, we're going coming on to RetroArch later on, but for now, I'm just going to close it. Um, because I think it might be stealing the joypad away. Ah, the life of a retro gamer. Okay. Right. So, oh, I've uh, done it again. Start and um, select. Don't appear to. Start it. Neither do any of the buttons. Oh. Well, isn't that darn irritating? Uh, 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 uh. All right. I'll tell you. What. Let's, let's pick another one, and we'll come back. To, um... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Elmo appears in the chat and then steals the information that I was going to provide to you later on. Well, cheeky fella. That's all I can say. Okay, so what have we got now? Oh, it's come up with a black screen. That's a bit shit, isn't it? Is it that one? It is that one. I didn't think this one through, did I? Okay. I mean, the size of the screen that I'm looking at suggests to me that it's going to be a uh, Game Boy or Game Gear Ah, oh, I don't know. Five minutes in, and we've not even, we've not even 
invaded anyone's space. So let's minimize that one because we can't play Atari at the moment. That's a shame. Okay. Do you know what I'm going to need to do? That's quite frustrating, really. I, I'm going to have to quit open MU. And yet, I don't think I can because it had a bit of a fit. Um, Okay. Okay. Bear with me one second while we uh, kick the computer. Seeing as me worried that you'd have to watch an hour and a half worth of um, Space Invaders. Well, you're not. You're watching a. You're watching a geek trying to fix his problems. There we go. Let's see if we can force quit that. Oh, we so did force quit that. And now I'm looking at a blank screen, hoping that it's a timing issue and that any minute my Space Invaders playlist will appear. Whew. Thank goodness. Okay. Um. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to try... We're going to try the Atari again. Oh, I didn't even steal it that time. It just automatically did it. Weird. But yay! Okay! Oh, let's see what happens. They were all working earlier. Player one is playing with the gamepad. Okay, does that work for you? Open and mute. Okay. They seem faster than I remember. Um, so when I when I was young, oh, and dinosaurs weren't there, um, the first console I got was um, a Radafin, and it was it was a Pong type, you know you know one of those ones. But the man in the shop who sold it to my mum. Because uh, it was all new back then. Promised her it would have Space Invaders on. Um, so she was very unhappy. But it, it wasn't. Uh, but I had to wait. Um, ooh, how long will it have been? I'll have had to wait a few more years before I got this version. I am an Atari VCS person. And... Um, this is what I... What? Oh, crap. No! Phew. Um, this is the, the Space Invaders I played first and most, probably. It uh, might not be graphically great, but works perfectly well. For a 1968, uh, 1968, 1978 game, um, and a game which uh, was so popular it caused a coin shortage in Japan. Oh crap! And um, fundamentally changed the game industry. I think um, a 
there's not many people in the chat room old enough to have had an Atari VCS. Uh, perhaps Tamara, maybe. She used to play Yards Revenge, so... And I think this is the... Other, other than the arcade version, obviously. This is the... Um, the oldest version we'll be looking at. Oh, yeah, well, look. So, uh, Elmo had a VCS with uh, Empire Strikes Back. Cracking. Um, so, when I've been talking to my co host on the snug about retro games and stuff, he wasn't a gamer particularly, and the only thing he can remember is Attack of the Mutant Camels on uh, the C64, which he had. Um, which I believe is similar to Empire Strikes Back, funnily enough. I wasn't a Commodore person, I don't... Um... Oh! I don't really... I was a, a Spectrum, and then went from a Spectrum to an Amiga. So... And to be honest with you, I can't really remember the sorts of games that I used to play. So yes, as El Elmo was saying in the chat room earlier on, the um, probably not with the Atari, but with the, certainly with the arcade machine, they got faster because there were less um, aliens to draw on the screen. So it was just an accident that uh, this bit at the end, <sighs> the stressful part at the end, is um, just an accident. Uh, so there you go. That was the Atari VCS. I don't think you need uh, me to show you any more. Um, I think we might do a, a couple of screens of each of them. Because um, the only things that change really is how it looks till we get a bit further on. So, Atari VCS. Uh, actually, I should um, leave it open so I know which one I've played, shouldn't I? Minimize. Okay. It would be good if they all opened in the same window. Um, mm -mm, what's the next one along? Let's have a look at the Game Boy, shall we? Yes, why not? We'll have a look at the Game Boy. And, um, hey, look at this. Look at this. I didn't just grab the screen. It grabbed itself. I've been moaning that it doesn't do it. And um, look at that. What am I doing different? Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Elmo went from a specky to a master system. Ah, now you see. I, I said I went from that to an Amiga, but in between times, I did have a Mega Drive. Um, in fact, I think I had my ClecoVision up until... In fact, up until nearly up until the time I didn't have a, a like the NES Master System era. I seem to miss that one out. So I I don't know. I don't know what I was doing at the time. Maybe maybe I was an Amiga. Maybe I Clecovisioned all the way up to an Amiga, then Amiga till I Mega Drived. Perhaps. Right, let's have a look. This I believe is the Game Boy. Um. More arcadey. Still got the uh, not quite sure about the whip crack uh, gun noise. Um, there are some that we'll be playing tonight that give you the option to play because obviously it came out in black and white first and then they thought, oh, maybe we can make it more exciting by colorizing it and they colorized it with um, cellophane on the screen. 
So some of these emulators tonight do try and emulate that. Wow, lots of bullets. They seem to shoot more than the um than the bloody Atari one. Might not even get two screens of these ones, bloody hell. I mean what's gonna happen when they get faster? Oh, come on, you piece of poo. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Whew! Another chat room are waiting for it, but um, I believe I uh, uh, I believe have the um, the habit of saying bastard a lot. Um, I don't know if I've said it yet, but um, you know Elmo's um, Elmo's in the chat room. Uh, we're, we're in polite company. We're not normally, so normally I would just say it, but you know. Yeah. There you go. Hey, it's going to be a short show, isn't it, if I get through them this quick? Bloody hell. Um, Space Invaders on the Game Boy. Oh, I see. The chat room's having to turn me down because uh, young ears are listening. I'm shamed now, aren't I? Shamed. I will um I'll try and behave. It is only space invaders at the end of the day. Only space invaders. Uh, okay, so that was the Atari VCS, that and then the Game Boy. So where are we gonna go next? Oh, I'll tell you what we'll get out of the way. Cause it's more of a, a gimmick than anything else. Um we're gonna do our first virtual boy cartridge. Yes. Nintendo's failed VR 3D console, which um, I can attest because I have one. Uh, gives you a bit of a headache after a little bit. So, what does um, Space Invaders look like in 3D? <laughs> well, well, uh, as you can see, well, maybe you can't see. Let me check the screen. No, you can't see because it's stopped hijacking it now. What's going on? Oh, open MU. Uh, at least this one should be easy to spot because it's um, it's virtual. Space Invaders virtual collection. There we go. Wow. So it's super widescreen. Um, so you get what we would now call a virtual reality headset uh, on a stand in front of you and you poke your little head into it and then you've got the controller underneath and um, and this is what you see well this is what you see when you plug space embedders in come on one way or another you're going to be seeing it can be seeing it in three. Well, you're not going to be seeing three D, are you? Because you're only seeing it in two D. Right. Whew. Here we go. So I'm going to play. Um, going to play something three D. 
because I feel that the 2D version's just going to be... Well, check the 2D, but I feel the 2D version's just going to be normal. It'd be just like it. It'd be just in a red haze. Oh, yeah, by the way, all the graphics on the Virtual Boy, red. Is that audio a little loud? Or am I... Uh, is everything okay? Maybe it's just the Virtual Boy audio. So... I will admit, I did start this up because I had to see what it looked like earlier on. I had to make sure it works. Um, but let's just say it messed with my head. Uh, I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but I'm actually doing better now than I did earlier on. I just can't get me angling right on them. I just don't know where, where in space they are. Oh, come off it. Say, I felt I would have hit that flying sauce. Come on! Why can't I get that guy? Oh! Oh, I thought I got him then. Concentrated so much on this one guy that these guys are going to hoof me. Yes, yeah, the chat room is saying they should have um, brought them out on the 3DS. And I wonder if they're just so embarrassed of the virtual boy that they were just like, no, nope, doesn't exist, forget it. Oh, oh, messes with my mind. Now, can we go back? No, we can't. How do we get back to... No, 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 both buttons do the same. Um, okay, well, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to restart it because I want to see, I want to see what the 2D ones look like. I know we're going to see a lot of them, a lot of invaders from space. I'd love to know what that on and off was. Wow, earlier on in the chat, Nutty Cluster says she went from an Amstrad tape drive to a Mega Drive. Wow, that is a jump. Has anybody got any a bigger jump between um, technology than that? Oh. Here we are. Almost exact replica of the arcade version. Um, yeah, that's quite irritating. I don't I don't remember. I mean it must be, because this is a, an accurate emulation. It, I don't remember like them shooting your bullets down. It's getting on my nerves. Oh, 
these little aliens feel smaller than the ones we've been playing with previously. It, it um, might become an issue when they <laughs> start moving very fast. Oh, come on. playing that so I can see what it looked like and do you know what I might have guessed that it looked like this surprisingly enough um, so let's move on shall we so um, do -ba -do. I'll tell you what we've talked about the master system we've got a master system and a Game Gear version of the same game but they're, they're fairly different from a cosmetic point of view. So let's start with um, Sega Master System. Ah, I know it's that one because it's Super Space Invaders. Yes, that's what we're going to play. Ooh, let's just pull it down a little bit. There we go. Um, so this is, yeah, Super Space Invaders. Uh, I'm fairly certain that we all know what's going to happen. Um, I don't think we need to sell this. You don't need a story when you're playing Space Invaders, do you? Right, what's super about it? Oh, it's super because we can choose the stage. Where do we fancy? Oh, we've only got these two. Let's do this one then. All right, these, well, these space invaders have covered themselves in tinfoil. Um, oh, and they come down a number of steps at once. Well, that's not very super. That's unsuper. Ah, shooting the bullets is irritating the crap out of me. Feel your bullets come out quicker, though. Wow, you don't have a ch chance. You don't miss that, do you? You miss it, you're done. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh, what's that drop now? Is that something I can... Uh... it beeping for late when he's at the bottom. Wow. Not fair. Oh, crap bags. So, that's Super Space Invaders on the, uh, the Master System. Now, I'm not going to minimise that just yet because what we're going to do is we're going to open um, Supin, Supin, Super Space Invaders 
on the Game Gear, which, basically speaking, was a handheld version of the Master System. Um, thing is, how am I going to know which one I need to hijack for you guys? So you would hope that the one that's hijacked currently it would be. There we go. So, obviously it was different, different ratio of screen. Um, for the battery draining game, uh, Game Gear. But I think you'll find this is um quite similar well we've already seen that one haven't we so oh, actually no let's play that one then you can see the difference Sure what that does. Oh, I see what it does. It um, lets you shoot the living bejesus out of them. Wow, I almost bust it under them. Come on. Oh, well, that's what you need when they're moving like that. Get in there. Get, shoot as many of them as I can before they come back on. I like the spaceship. Give me more stuff. Oh, what's them? Oh, I see. Are they, are they bulletproof then? What? Or you just have to hit them twice. Oh, that's that's annoying, isn't it? Oh, God, how many bullets are they pushing out? I mean, would they be easy to hit? Oh, disappointing. Whoa! Dead. Um, and the sad music begins again. So, there you go. Two versions of the same game. Of the same game. We're going Retro Inception. Right, so those were our those were our super space invaders. We've done our virtual space invaders. Um, where we're we gonna go next? Where we're we gonna go? We're gonna go to the the next generation of console with uh, the Super Nintendo. Yes, the snares. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Space Invaders is the original game, eh? None of your reworks or rebrands or reboots. So you would imagine if they're um, 
promoting it like this that it would be the exact copy of the, the arcade. Oh, see, we can play it. Ah, here we go. So, you can have it in black and white. You can have it with the cellophane on. Or you can have it in real colour. So we're going to pick black and white with cellophane. So you get you get the feel of it. Like like we had in Tarcades when I were a lad. Where's the start button? Oh, let's let me put coins in. Ah, I see. There we go. Oh, this feels fatter, doesn't it? This this feels a lot wider. But it sounds like the arcade. Definitely. Yeah. I'll... And I actually think that I should pause it and hijack the correct screen. Oh, I do have a habit of doing that. It's usually Nutty Cluster who pokes her head in and says, Oi, numb nuts, you've not captured the screen. How'd you get so carried away playing playing these games? What am I looking for? Space Invaders with a bracket in you with it. Okay. Um. Well, thank you, Elmo, for letting me know, because I would have just shambled on playing a whole game of stripy coloured Space Invaders, talking about how good it looks and how I used to play it in the arcades, and you wouldn't have been able to see it. So thank you. And now it's effing massive again. But I know what to do this time. There we go. Cellophane Space Invaders. Let's continue, shall we? I mean, you didn't miss any exciting gameplay. <laughs> it was just shooting aliens. what happened was they brought it out and obviously it was black and white and then lots of colour games came out and they went oh no what are we going to do it has to be a cheap fix because the whole idea of an arcade is just to take money off people um, so we need the cheapest fix possible anyone got a box of roses that we can take the cellophane off and that's how they made it colour in fact I'm fairly certain I saw a Asteroids, maybe? With a cellophane wrapper on it. Oh, he died. Well, you only saw one of that, so let's... Uh, let's try again. But let's go to the other side. I notice I've got a pattern, but let's, let's go to the other side. Start from there. So early, earlier in the week, I um, I was testing out my arcade stick on uh, on the Ultimate Mister that I've got, uh, which is for those of you that don't know, is a, an emulation console. It, it emulates almost everything at the moment. Can't do Jaguar, unfortunately. Um, can't do the Saturn yet, but. Um, 
But it does a, does a good arcade emulation. And I was playing... Um, but actually, it might have been this. I was playing... A, I'm sure it was a SNES version of Space Invaders. And on the... Uh, I can't do it on this, unfortunately. But on the, um, on the Mister, the emulation that it runs allows you to upload um, cheats. You know, like uh, action replay cheat codes and stuff like that. And... The one for Space Invaders, the one for the one that I was playing, one of them was Aliens Do Not Move. And I thought, oh, going to try that. Super easy. Let's have some of that. And do you know something? Aliens Not Moving, really hard. Because look how fast they're firing. And when they're not moving, all that fire is just raining down in one place. And you can't get under the little sods. Okay, so there you go, that's how it looked on the snares. Almost arcade accurate. Just a little wider to fit a telly. Because if you brought a television, a, a TV game, as we used to call it, if you brought a TV game home and put it on your telly and it only took up this much and there was bags on the side, then um, I think you'd complain, wouldn't you? I think you'd complain. Uh, okay, so we're staying with 16-bit. And we're going to go to the much discussed in the chat room, Mega Drive. This this is this is Space Invaders ninety. Um. So so I have no idea. Right. Let me grab the screen before anyone tells me off for not grabbing the screen. Do 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 do. do. Oh, you should thank me. I just stopped myself from singing Baby Shark. Don't know how I was going to sing that. Uh, Space of is 90. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Now, I don't remember Space Invaders on the uh, on the Mega Drive. Um, it feels like we would have got past Space Invaders by then. But here we go. Doesn't that look familiar? Way. Unshootable bullets. Cheaters. Wonder if the UFOs give you um, give you super goodies like the other one. Oh no, I have a shield in this and it's getting reamed. Whoa! Chat room eager to hear Sega. Uh, to be honest with you, I can't remember if it happened on this the start of this when I've just started it up. Unfortunately, I have to start the game before I can hijack it for you all to see it. No, oh, run out of shields. Is that game over then. Next mission. Oh, there you go. Only Sonic does that. Elmer needs to be here every show. He is the um, he has the superior game knowledge. And then any chat room questions, he picks them up and answers them. Oh, it does give you stuff. Oh, ho, ho, ho. green giant.
What on earth are these? Don't know, but I need to shoot a lot of them. Oh. Whoa, sideways bullets. Cheaters. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, is that it? Just a shield. I like the big shooty shooties. Oh. Oh. Disappointing. Oh, it's tractor beaming me to the side. <laughs> I don't know, I can get away with that. Missed it. More of these again. Okay, so Ooh. Space Invaders ninety for the Mega Drive. Last 16 bit system. We're going to the Turbo Graphics 16, uh, otherwise known as the PC Engine in some countries. Um, and here is. Uh... Well, you'd be surprised to learn. Here is Space Invaders. There we go. So, as it has a little bit of Japanese in, it should be easy enough for me to uh, figure out which one to hijack for you. Yeah, yeah, it's chat room. I thought I'd get in there quick. Um, it's obviously any trivia I have, I need to blow it out quickly before Elmo gets to it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Fukatsu no hi. Could be Japanese for Space Invaders, but... Okay, let's see. I feel it's going to be a bit Space Invadery, but let's see. I think it's going to be exactly Space Invader. Oh, look, R push, run button. Go. It's not a start button. Then the little Space Invader shoots the extra enough. Oh, why is they... Oh, analog. Oh, hello. That's a different kettle of fish. So I have a pad with analog sticks on. 
um, which is useful in this case because it doesn't say it's analog and all the rest have played with the d-pad now I know these a uh, UFOs don't give you any extra points uh, not extra points and extra cool stuff uh, so we're looking at, at uh, a cellophane arcade machine uh, without the cellophane lines and now it do have um, I'm trying to think what I've got I've got a PC engine portable and I have a, a white one that takes cards that I think might actually be a PC engine actual console um, really should get these things out and have them on the shelf behind me, shouldn't I? So when I uh, when I can show off. And it it turns virtual boy red when you die. Oh no, which is happening a lot. Well, we didn't want to play this a lot anyway, do we? I don't know if I mind the analog stick actually. And there, I was glad that I could shoot the bullets. Gonna lose me houses next turn if I'm not careful. Just don't worry about your houses, mate. You're dead. All right. Save the houses anyway for a little bit. If you're dead, stop shooting at me. Well, there you go. That was the uh, the Turbo Graphics uh, PC Engine 16, and uh, we just have one more Space Invaders version to have a look at before we move on to a couple of games that um, are inspired by Space Invaders. So, so on last week's Sonic episode, you will remember that the um, the Nintendo DS version of Sonic. Uh, well, let's say it was a little extreme and had bits missing because the emulation didn't work great. Um, I feel that Sonic's probably not as difficult. So, let's see. Um, where are you? A little monkey. What am I looking for? Space Invaders Revolution. There it is. Now, it's super tall. It doesn't fit in the um, superbly designed backdrop uh, that, um, that Nutty Cluster spent weeks, weeks working on. Um, but I'm afraid... Doesn't really. Uh, I suppose we could switch to the arcade one and put it in the arcade screen, but um, let's go. Let's see. I 
feel it's going to be... Um... Oh, look, there's your arcade machine. Oh, what's the new age version? Because we've played lots of the others, haven't we? So, which button should I press, do you reckon? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Houston. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> right. Can't play the new age version because... It wants you to touch the screen. And we can't do that with this, though. So we're, we're just going to be playing normal, normal it again. But, oh, look, jo my joystick moves. So you can watch me wa waggle my joystick. Pretty much arcade audio, I would say. chat rooms mentioned it's bulbous end or it's red button which i find very surprising they must all be behaving themselves because elmo's here can i get it no I was going to play some Baron Knights tonight as well. Um, with their Space Invaders song. But it turns out... I don't have it. And I don't know why. I'm sure I must have it. But it's... Um, it's called... The, the actual album is called Songs from the Gr for a Gridlock. Uh, but one of the... Because Baron Knights used to do... Um, singles that were parodies of three or four different songs um, and one of them was a Space Invaders song so uh, well I think you've seen enough haven't you I think so so it's Space Invaders you've been watching it for an hour so enough's enough we're going to move on to Well, we've not had any collector vision yet, have we? And um, that's, the, that's the one I spent my a lot of most time on. Uh, because um, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the first couple of episodes, but the collector vision was genius. You'd never get it now. It was a console that had arcade perfect graphics at the time. Uh, the Donkey Kong is what they sold it with, because Donkey Kong looked just like it. And But they also sold plugins like adapters that you could stick in the front of your console and one was a steering wheel and um, the ingenious bit was one was an Atari VCS it, just an Atari VCS so you bought it plugged it in the front of your collector vision and you could play all your Atari cartridges it's a brilliant piece of business I, I think Atari saved the shit out of them but it, it was a great idea for us we loved it I traded in my Atari for uh, for a Clecovision, primarily because it could do that. Oh. Anyway, um, so games inspired by or saw um, they saw what Space Invaders was doing. I went, I'd like a bit of that pie, please. Um, one of those was, he says, just looking, one of those was Galaxian. Um, there we go, Galaxian. Pew, pew. 
So this this was Space Invaders, but the Space Invaders flew down and tried to dive bomb you. So eighty three. So what's that's five five ish years or so after Space Invaders came out. Uh, we got this. So this is, like I say, Collector Vision. And um, let's have a play with the Galaxian. And let's see if we can make it work. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you can't see that, but every now and again. I press a key combination on my pad that says so start something running on my Mac. And I don't know what it is. Okay. So, they don't slowly move down on you like Space Invaders. They come dive bombing you. Whoa. Whoa, I'd like to say it's been a long time since I've played Galaxian. But you just think I was making excuses. Well, you all know that I'm not very good at playing games. I'm a gamer with a small G. I couldn't get out of the way of that one. I think we'll be playing another round of this because, uh, by golly. See, sometimes these floaty ones um, sneak up behind you and come back up and blast you when you're not expecting it. Oh, come on. Whoa. So, if I'm not mistaken, um, and I'm sure somebody will correct me if I am, but uh, it was Galaxian and then... Whoa. And then Gallagher, which you're going to have a look at afterwards. Um, similar similar idea. Um, but let's not forget, this is the Collector Vision version. So, and also, also, I've been sat here for more than an hour. And I know the camera zoomed in a little bit, but I wore it especially. I wore it especially. I shouldn't be leaning forward, should I, so that you can't see it. I should be leaning backwards like this. Uh, right, let's start again. Can we start again? There we go. Panic then. Just shot so many times I got them all by accident. Seem to move from side to side faster and all. I've got, feels like I've got my Space Invaders uh, speed on and now it's just not fast enough. Whoa! This is going to kill me. Come on. I felt it committed Harry Carry and it just ran into my bullet. Whoa! Couldn't shoot quick enough. Um, I think they're worth more if you shoot them while they're flying. Because um, if they're not in this game, I feel they are in, in Gallagher. I mean, honestly, I feel a may have played more Galaxian and Gallagher in the arcades than Space Invaders. 
Because by the time I was going to arcades, Space Invaders was a couple of years old by then, I feel. It like the old pet, the old thing that was 10p. Although, upon saying that, they were all 10p. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, do I have a shield that I could be using? No, I don't. Ooh, ooh. Well, that just ran into me then. Wasn't very fair. Uh, so, okay. So, inspired by Space Invaders, that was Galaxian. And now we're going to play our second Turbo Graphics game of the night. Also, PC Engine. Uh, let's close that one. I've got it written down. I don't know what I'm playing. That's quite irritating. Those. Why don't they just appear when I want them to? There we go. Right. Um, it's not actually our final game. Because we do have... Assuming it works, I'm just just asking for trouble, aren't I? But here we are with Gallagher eighty eight on the turbo graphics. Push run button. Oh, 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 oh. tempting in it. Two two shooters. Let's play normal. Okay, what's shooty? Not that one. No, oh, that one. Come on! Firework monsters! Hey! Oh! I thought it was going to go back up, not run into me. Oh, too busy looking at him. Gonna have to have another go at him. We'll try it with two guns. Oh. Right, let's try again. Try it with with this. It's got pretty good music, hasn't it? Pew 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 Shit, I'd also fight. Oh no. Me and my big mouth. Galactic dancing. Feels like you should be shooting them while they're dancing. Oh, my God. 
Oh, more shooty. How do I get that thing behind me? Oh! Oh, I'm collecting them. Good. Fifty-six percent hit ratio. Okay. Oh, right. Okay, one last game before we wrap up this admittedly short show. Um, we're going to do something we don't do very often. Uh, we're going to start Retro Arch. Here goes. Gotta make sure the uh, keypad works. Yes. Okay. Um, always get the this. retro hat switches the. Uh, okay. So if we start this. And we're going to flick over to the less cool arcade version of the screen. Yes. And we're going to find RetroArch. Okay. Let's see what happens. Here we go. So let me... Oh, that's a shame. Just need to stick it off the edge there. And we're going to play a tiny bit of Mooncrester. Which is something I used to play in the arcade a lot. Um, so. Oops. God damn it. Um. I shouldn't put my mouse. I shouldn't use my mouse. Oh. There we go. Resume. Okay. So. That's how I put them. Do we not have sound? Here we do. Okay. Oh, it's such a slow shooter after you've just been playing Gallagher. Ah, and the sneak up and take you from behind. said right on but I don't think it was right yeah 
No, I've only just got my three guns. Load some shite orcs. So, there was another one that I'm trying to, trying to remember, where you had a few... Oh, what was that called? Uh, I don't even know why I'm bothering putting my... Oh, I can't. Oh, really? You can only go left and right? Dear, oh dear. Good job it gives you a minute, innit? Um, what was the other one? This is Mooncrester. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember. Then it makes you go all the way to the end to finish it. Okay. It's turbo fire when you want it, eh? for me you horrible oh uh. I've just realised you might not be able to see my my actual shooter. Wow. Why'd it get so big? wonder if that's because I changed it here. Mm. Mm. And then I died. Uh, do you know what? Hey, hey! I have to go to Endor, so it's going to make me sit here for a minute. Well, I did better than last time. Um, but I tell you what, it's getting a bit warm in here. And um, I think you've seen enough shooty alien stuff, don't you? Whew. Um, so let me... Let me quit out of this. Here we are. <sighs> okay, that's it. So, so, you know what that means? 
What do you mean you don't know what it means? It's episode nine. You should know what it means by now. Holy smokes, people. Uh, yes, it is indeed. Time for the wheel. Uh, so, this picks what we're going to do next show. If you're, if you're new here tonight, Elmo, then uh, basically we spin the wheel and see what it picks. Uh, so we've got um, IHMP, I've never played. Uh, SGDS, which is what we did today, kind of, with Space Invaders. It stands for the same, same game, different system. And then genre things. The little pictures are big franchises that have many different types of game. And we play them. Sonic, last episode, was one of those picks. So, uh, let's, uh, let's spin the wheel, shall we? Another big one. Another big one. Yes, you can see that it says Donkey. You can't see the Kong bit, but it does say Donkey Kong. Right. Uh, so, we'll be playing the original Donkey Kong, obviously. We might play Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong 3. Um, and then we'll take a look at some of the other, the other games that have featured Donkey Kong in the 8-bit. 16-bit era, uh, possibly some N64, we'll have to see how we get on, um, we're not going to be playing Donkey Kong in no chat room, we can't play anything that needs a special controller, because we're emulating, um, cheeky chipmunk, uh, right, so, it's time for the uh, the end of the show, which uh, we're going to do by hiding that, popping that up there and saying thank you very much for joining us and sticking with us for an hour and a half's worth of shooting aliens that are invading our space. Um, if you're watching it live now, then you know that we're on Twitch every Monday at seven o'clock. We'll be giving you some sort of retro game goodness. And next week it'll be Donkey Kong. Uh, so, but we also do 11s is at 11 o'clock on a Tuesday and a Friday for two hours. We play some easy listening music to ease you into lunch. We also have our flagship show, shall we call it, The Snug, which is uh, over at snugradio.co.uk. And we record that on a Wednesday at also well, half six ish. Come to the website for half six and click on the Zoom link. You might get let in. Um, what else do I need to ask you to do? Come on, uh, Nutty Cluster. Nutty Cluster's our media manager, you say. Queen, queen of the media manager. Um, she'd want me to say follow and um, comment. And if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and comment and some sort of bell icon. Um, we're also on TikTok. If you'd like to visit us on TikTok, I'm sure Nutty Cluster would appreciate that. And you can email us. Emails on the telly. It says retro at snugradio.co.uk. There's so many ways, so many ways of getting in touch with us. Um, pick one you like and um, do that. Ideally, we'd like to see you here live next week. Tell your friends. If you've enjoyed it, tell somebody who might also enjoy it. Is there somebody who's some nostalgia for video games then you know where to send them send them right here that's it that's the end of this show we'll see you next week thank you and goodbye